Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 5th to the 6th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius at this very moment in time? What does Aquarius need to know for April 5th to the 6th of 2023? All right, let's see. I got Starbucks. You could be eating candy at this time. Um, Dragon, Emergence. I see someone eating candy while watching this. Frog, creativity. I feel like you, you had some creative fog or block. It's nothing serious. It's just like you've been working on a project for the last few days or few weeks. And it's like you've hit like a couple days of confusion surrounding what you want to do. We have mouse advantage, but you're about to overcome that in the next 48. So if you have some type of creative block, and I feel like, again, it's not, it hasn't been long term. It's only been for like a couple of days. I see light fog or confusion. Overall energy is nymph promiscuity. So I feel like some type of like alluring or maybe sexual encounter doesn't have to be, you don't have to be getting like physical with anyone in the next 48. But I feel like you could simply just watch something on TV or like see someone like Rihanna. She has a lot of sex appeal without having to like, do anything extra she just naturally has it i feel like you could simply see someone being so subtle but at the same time so like attractive and that could give you inspiration or that is the energy you're embodying in the next 48 hours but i feel like such a subtle it's like you ain't got to walk around showing everything even if you do decide to but it's just like you could simply be walking around in a coat a big coat and still give off this very like um the sexual energy so yeah, this is definitely reminding me of Rihanna. <laughs> and I feel like seeing, witnessing that, being around that, or embodying that is what's going to allow you to finish this project. Because you could be a fashion designer, or you could make, um, you could have some type of creative hobby on the side, and this is going to influence that. So let's get into the tarot for Aquarius. So you need to watch something like that, or just watch someone like that and get some type of inspiration from that person. You know, I feel like that's going to get you. So get outside. You may want to go to a museum or just be around creative people or just get some inspiration. All right. We have the page of swords. Yeah. You can go online. You may see someone online like this that gives you inspiration going on um, Pinterest or um, what is it? TikTok, Instagram, anything. Six of Cups. Could be a younger air sign a sibling or a child that gives you this inspiration, maybe the way that they creatively or freely express themselves. Children don't really have as much like, restriction on their creative expression like we do. <laughs> All right, Nine of Cups, pleasant surprise. I mean, <laughs> wish fulfillment, but it could be a pleasant surprise to see someone because the Six of Cups can be the past. So you may see someone from your past online and their glow up could inspire you Maybe this person um, has done something creative with makeup or fashion or cosplay or some type of style. You see them online, it gives you inspiration or someone could be witnessing this about you. Maybe you were more reserved and now you're more free spirited or vice versa. Maybe this person was like this. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a lot of emotion between you two. Uh, two of Pentacles, balance. I feel like there is a project of yours this could be an actual child, but I feel like there's a creative project of yours that you're working on. Overall energy is the sun, Leo. Yeah, so you're about to reach some clarity on a situation. And the sun is the happiest card. I feel like you're definitely encountering some type of soulmate in the next 48 hours. I, see, I feel like you may see them online or someone from your past may reach out to you. So if a new person, if it's a new person, you may meet them online or some type of social media site or something that you may just come across this person or a past person could be reaching out to you, telling you that you're their wish fulfillment and they, it's like they want to balance things out with you. They see something clearly. Someone here sees something clearly now with the sun. Let's clarify though. Let's see. But if this is a creative project, you're about to have an aha moment or a eureka moment or something like that. Clarity, clarify. This. And this is through something you watch or see on a platform. Oh. When 
I dropped those cards, the Seven of Swords was right on the top. I don't know if you could see that, but if you go back, that's the Aquarius card or one of your cards. Clarifying the Page of Swords is the Page of Wands. The Chariot Cancer. So you could be traveling to see someone or watching a travel blog that gives you inspiration or watching a cancer online that gives you inspiration. But I feel like there is a travel blog or it could be a car vlog that you're watching. You're watching someone travel from place to place and it gives you inspiration. You could be watching fashion shows. I don't know when New York Fashion Week is, but I feel like you're watching something online about someone traveling or moving and it gives you inspiration. Or someone who's traveling a lot. Clarifying the Six of Cups is the Ten of Cups. So this is, um, you may be discovering that you want to travel. I feel like you could be finding your purpose in life. Like what you want to do. And maybe you find out you have a love for traveling. Or vlogging your travels or something like that. But I also get that this is love strongly. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. <laughs> it's nine of swords and this is making you anxious or this is making someone anxious i feel like someone from your past could be very anxious because they're in love with you maybe someone you have kids with for some of you clarifying the nine of cups is the ace of pentacles yeah someone wants a new stable beginning with you three of swords yeah this is definitely someone from your past they see you as wish fulfillment maybe um I don't know if you just got married for some of you. Definitely an ex is watching you if you just got married or if you're in a new relationship. An ex can see that on social media and they're very heartbroken either by the fact that you've moved away, got a new job, or found someone new, or just had a child. If you had any of those milestones recently, could be you just simply getting a new car. This is making someone see you as wish fulfillment. And they're heartbroken. And the only reason I say someone from your past is because we have the three of swords and the six of cups. Because, like, why else would you be? You can't be a brand new person in my life that I don't know and you're heartbroken, you know? <laughs> this is someone who um, who's looking at you, someone from your past, and they're very stressed. Because either they see you doing all these things or they wish to have all these things with you. Clarifying the two of pentacles is the four of wands. Yeah, I feel like someone here has either just recently got engaged, married, or just moved or got a new car, traveling, expanding. You're on to new things, page of wands. You have new inspiration or you're giving this person new inspiration by the way you um are expanding. The emperor, Aries. So maybe you own your own business. This could be a father figure as well. But I feel like with um, Mouse Advantage and Two of Pentacles, you have a lot on your plate, but you balance it well. And that's your advantage. That's making you like get ahead so quickly or ahead of most. This is like you taking advanced classes or not advanced classes, but you know those classes that are sped up so that you won't have to take months into a class. You can compact one course into one month. But you're like you're keeping up on all of it and that's allowing you to excel further than your peers or further than most people in this field. Someone can just see you excelling. And that you work well under pressure, like where most people would fail, you are succeeding. Like having a whole bunch of things on your plate actually helps you progress. Whereas it will stress other people out. You're just doing what, very well. And this is allowing you to have um, a stable business or platform. Because I feel like you do it all by yourself. So like all the money goes to you, all the income comes to you. You don't have to pay anyone. Because I'm seeing that you run your own business. I'm seeing you as the emperor, Aquarius. So, like, if someone um, didn't believe that you would get your own place or buy a home or have your own business or get your own a new car or your own car, I just feel like someone did not have faith in you. Someone can see you reaching your goals in the next 48 hours. Someone can see that you're reaching your goals. You're very inspiring to this person. I don't see that they're like, of course, there's a, some jealousy in there, but I don't see that they're like, um, trying to sabotage you or anything. It's just that someone from your past, whether it be family, friend, or love, you inspire this person secretly and they're also heartbroken because they now, they see you as wish fulfillment. <laughs> Over on, she's the magician, Gemini and Virgo. They see that you're manifesting. Yeah, right behind that's the page of swords. They see that you're manifesting. 
and they're learning from you. They could be looking up to you or learning from you. And it could be any sign. We have Gemini, Virgo here. We have Leo, uh, Aries, Cancer. But of course, it could be any sign. I just called out the major arcanas. I don't know if they're going to reach out to you, but they are watching you in the background and you do inspire them. I feel like you inspire a lot of people that you grew up with as well, especially family or friends. They just see you progressing, thriving, moving, following your... I just keep getting you that people can see you chasing your dream. Because I feel like there's a new idea, a new inspiration, and you went after it and you, you succeeded. You're succeeding. All right, let me get to your final message. You inspire others by chasing your dreams and succeeding. You're going to see in the next 48 hours that you're an inspiration to others. Someone may tell you this directly, that you inspire them, or you inspired them to do something. Wings. Yeah, look. <laughs> Wishes, ambition, wandering. You being ambitious, you chasing your dreams, going after what it is you want, is inspiring others to do the same. Mushrooms, the quiet growth, the hidden peace. And I don't feel like you're being flashy about it. I feel like you're just doing you. Elixir, health, toxicity, attending. Hmm. Maybe this person could have been toxic or it's stressing this person out. Because I do see the nine of swords, anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. And I didn't really want to tap into the like the nine of swords or the three of swords because I'm really <laughs> tired of that energy. But yeah, this relationship could have been toxic or this person could have been toxic or they had toxic ways of thinking and habits. Maybe you overcame some type of toxic ways or thinking or habits. And you inspire people in that way. Overall energy is dull. Illusion, old wounds, childhood. Maybe you healed your childhood trauma. Maybe you have uh, some type of father issues. Or issues with your father. A parental figure. I feel like you've overcome that. And you're inspiring others as well. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.